Time now for our focus report. And this Friday, we're shining a spotlight on Pakistan's 30 million strong Pashtun community. Straddled between Pakistan and Afghanistan, the Pashtuns make up around 15% of the country's population. And ever since the war on terror began after 9-11, this ethnic group has been caught in the crossfire between the US-backed Pakistani army and the Taliban. Now, because the majority of Taliban are indeed Pashtun and because their ancestral land remains a haven for armed Islamist groups, for many Pakistanis, the word Pashtun has become synonymous with Taliban and terrorist. A view now being challenged by the vocal yet peaceful Pashtun protection movement. Attracting a large number of youths and women, they're speaking up against extrajudicial killings and discriminations. Solène chalvon fioriti and Shazai Bouala report. Tens of thousands of Pashtuns from Pakistan's tribal areas have gathered here at this Peshawar Square to demand their rights. Sana, a women's rights activist, is one of the organizers. A large number of women are present here today thanks to her efforts. In the tribal areas, the Pashtuns are in the majority, but they are caught between the Taliban and the Pakistani army. In the crowd, hundreds of people hold up pictures of their loved ones who've gone missing. They are here to denounce the enforced disappearances of Pashtuns. They blame the military. This woman's husband disappeared a year ago. The leader of this movement is Manzur Pashtin. He is demanding the reconstruction of homes in the war-torn tribal areas, the removal of landmines and the end of human rights violations. Pashtin's movement is a peaceful one. This little girl is from a generation that grew up with the so-called war on terror. And in the future, women might well be the leaders of the next generation of Pashtuns. And that's Sana's goal. A few days before the rally, we followed her as she prepared for the Peshawar gathering. She went door to door to get more women to join the movement. This family is from a tribal region in the north, an area that was targeted by drone attacks for more than 10 years. Now they found refuge in Peshawar. Pashtun women still need to seek permission from their husbands or their male relatives. Often they don't have the right to show their faces or go out of their homes. Women suffer more than men, but women are not allowed to, you know, ask for their rights. It's very important to, you know, include all, all women, including housewives. When you destroy a house, you actually destroy a home of a woman. Back at her office, Sana meets other organizers of the protest. Several leaders of the Pashtun movement are educated women. This is far from the common misconception that the ethnic group follows the same patriarchal norms as the Taliban. In Islamabad, this restaurant is a base for passing Pashtun travelers. Today, Manzur Pashtin has come to meet the supporters of the cause. It is impossible for him to maintain a low profile. He has many fans here. A new hero uh, uh, in our mind is Manzur Pashtin. Manzur comes from one of the seven worst-hit tribal areas, North Waziristan, a sanctuary for major Islamist groups of the region. His family has had to flee bombings on four separate occasions. When military operations started in the area, we had to leave our land. On one side, the Taliban attacked us. On the other, it was the Pakistani army bombing us. Manzur is 26 years old and has a degree in veterinary studies. Since he's taken up the cause of his people, he has received several threats, including from the Taliban. What are they going to do to me? Destroy my house? That's already done. Kill my loved ones? I'm used to that too. I've already seen so many blown to pieces. I'm no stranger to enduring cruelty. The Pashtun movement has been fighting for justice for this man, Mohammed Mehsud. Police in Karachi killed his son, Nakibullah, an aspiring model, in an encounter. They said he was a terrorist.
These encounters or extrajudicial killings are common in Pakistan. I wanted him to give up modeling and wear more traditional clothes, but you know, he had such modern tastes. After his son's death, the Pashtun movement organized protests in several cities across the country, including the capital. I will find my son's murderer. Even with this small torch, I will look for him in the sky, behind trees, behind mountains, and I will find him. Under pressure, the Supreme Court of Pakistan launched an investigation into the killing. Mehsud is attending a hearing today without knowing that the judges will order the arrest of a high-ranking policeman. It will take place in a few days and will be the first victory for Manzoor's movement. But the fight to win greater civil rights for the Pashtun people is far from over.